Now you can also listen to us on your favorite podcast with just a search, Faith Temple and Cog. Listen on the go with your favorite streaming platforms, like YouTube, Spotify, Audible, Apple, Amazon Music, Google, Facebook, and Anchor Podcasts. If you would like more information about us, you can visit our website at www.ftnfcog.org. To be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. Saints, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're going to ask the elder right to lead in prayer, but we're all going to be praying. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you, God. Thank you, Father. Yes. We bless you. We honor you again, Father, for one more day that you have created, oh God, for us. Oh, God, to tell you, thank you, God. We honor you, God. We bless you, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. We ask you to come in the midst, oh, God, where we believe you're already here, Father. Oh, God, we thank you right now, God. Open our understanding, oh, God, on this uh, lesson on today, Father. What you want us to, oh, God, understand in here, Father, God. We lift up our families before you right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, we give you glory and honor right now, God. We continue to thank you, oh, God, for the salvation of our family as a whole, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, we ask you to lift up faith to bless, oh, God. Oh, God, for the work that you have for us to do, God. We thank you right now, God. We bless you and we honor you right now, God. We thank you, oh, God, that everybody under the sound of my voice, God, we pray for healing right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, touch their bodies, God. Touch their minds.
us, oh God, strengthen them, oh God, because we can ask for that, Father. Oh God, we bless you right now, God. Hallelujah, God. Oh God, for the bond that you have placed in us, God. We thank you right now, God. Oh God, for moving upon us, oh God, never before, God. We ask you right now to touch that card as a whole, oh God, every church, oh God. Oh God, we thank you right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. Move upon them like never before, oh God. Us as a nation, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for one purpose, one heart, one mind, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, we glorify you. We honor you right now, God. In the midst of God, you move, Father. We thank you right now, God. Oh, God, for the works, oh, God, of your hands, oh, God, your mighty works, God. We bless you for it right now, God. Hallelujah. Now, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you right now, Father, for doing it, oh, God. We thank you right now, Father, for moving on our behalf, Father. We thank you, oh, God, for the authority that you have placed in us, oh, God, they ask, oh, God. We thank you right now, Father, for doing it right now, oh, God. Open our hearts Oh God, that the word, oh God, being in our hearts, oh God. Oh God, we will not sin against you, God. We thank you right now, God. Oh, move upon us, oh God. Oh God, touch, oh God. Hallelujah. God, dig and trace it right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, everything that's going on in her life, oh God, we thank you right now. We lift our family up to you right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, we bless you, oh God. Oh God, we continue to heal her body, God. Continue to strip her, oh God. Continue to touch her children, Father. Continue to touch her grandchildren, oh God. That they know who you are, Father. In the name of Jesus, God. We look at Mother Smith right now to you, Father. In the name of Jesus, God. Everything that she needs, oh God. Everything that she requires, God. We thank you for doing it right now in her life, Father. We look at her children, oh God. We look at Samuel, oh God. We look at Angel, oh God, to you right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for the work that you have on their lives, oh God, in their hands, God. We pray right now, God. Oh God, your spirit will fall upon them right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you right now. Hallelujah. Oh God, for the oh God, the next family as a whole, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that the prayers of the righteous are very much, God. We thank you right now. Oh God, that everyone, oh God, we come unto you, Father. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, for the prayers, oh God, that have been going forth, oh God, in their lives, oh God. And we thank you right now in advance, Father, for doing it right now. Oh God, we thank you, oh God. We honor you right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, for doing it, Father. Oh, God, move upon us, oh, God, mightily. Oh, God, on this lesson, oh, God, touch the speaker, oh, God. Oh, God, that he break down the word to us, oh, God, that we can you be fed, oh, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, have your divine way, God, and we glorify you. We magnify your name. In Jesus' name, God, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, oh, God. Thank you, Jesus, oh, God. We bless you. We bless you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, oh God. Hallelujah, Father. Oh God, we worthy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, uh, had no cancer in his body, and uh, he was in the rehab. So we just praise God that the saints, when we just just shows you when we pray, hallelujah, and seek God, hallelujah, when to touch and agree on something, it shall be done, saints. Hallelujah. We got a word that tells us that. So we just thank God that he, he took the cancer out of his body. Amen. And he's in rehab now. Amen. So. Uh, hopefully he'll come back on and 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 share his testimony of how and uh, God is still working in his life. Amen. Hallelujah. We truly give God all the glory and all the honor. I am excited. Amen. I, all day long I've been. Amen. Took some time. Amen. To be with God today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just truly, truly. Hey, it's nothing like uh, spending a little time with Jesus. Hallelujah. Spend a little time with God. Amen. Amen. Before I open up a new lesson, amen, I just had to challenge y'all. I know y'all went through last week, and you heard that word that told us, uh, Sean, the very appearance, yeah. abstain mm. from the very appearance of evil. Amen. I don't want nobody to get no, no report about what they did. I mean, but I hope it was a challenge, amen, that we had to undertake and you caught yourselves or seen some things where uh, you had to abstain from evil. Somebody 
for you just being around people, being uh, in the midst of hatred, in the midst of chaos. Hallelujah. You had to, as saints of the living God, children of the living God, had to abstain from evil. Amen. 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 I know I caught myself a couple times. I had to shut my mouth. Amen. I had, had to go back to the scripture with the psalm said, "Guard my mouth, Lord. Guard my mouth." Amen. So uh, it, it was a it was a good challenge this week. And uh, as we finish that lesson, I know y'all have uh, uh, looked at uh, on progressive sanctification. Amen. We look down to the table of contents, and you were seeing there First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, and about the uh, the things of progressive sanctification that we be studied on how to rejoice. How to, uh, how to pray without ceasing, how to give thanks, which is the will of God. To give, we give thanks all the time, amen, and to how we uh, can quench not the spirit movement, amen, despise not prophesying, prove all things and hold fast to that what's good and abstain from the appearance of evil, amen. We can lock them things into uh, our daily routine We'll uh, be better, be equipped uh, to be able to be a witness for God to this world. Amen. We all agree. We all agree. That this world, hallelujah, hallelujah, seems like it's going, amen, in a different direction that we're going. We're swimming upstream and the world is going downstream. Amen. So there is a challenge uh, to us daily. And I just encourage you encourage you to go to the word of God and that's where your answers are going to be and that's where you're going to find God's hand is right there and he got you every step of the way amen hallelujah I truly give God the glory and all the praise for everybody being here tonight amen uh text out uh, I don't I gotta get Deacon McLean phone number and uh in there so what we're gonna be looking at first Corinthians amen First, not First Corinthians, excuse me, saints. First Chronicles. Hallelujah. First Chronicles, the fourth chapter. Hallelujah. And we're going to look at the ninth and tenth verse. Hallelujah. No way to write pray. Amen. But I'm just going to ask God to open up the mystery of the gospel to us. Father, we thank you and we give you the glory and all the praise. As we dig into your word, God, we let your Holy Spirit just open up the scriptures to us, God. Oh, God, let the word, Lord, renew our minds, Father. And Lord, put it in our hearts, Lord, that we'll govern our lives accordingly, Father. For we want you, we want to know all that there is to know about you, God. Open it up to us, Holy Spirit. Reveal it to us, amen, the deep things of God so that we can grow to be the men and women that you called us to be, Father, in these last and evil days. Father, we thank you again right now for what you're doing. We thank you that you're enabled, hallelujah, us to be able to log on this day. We thank you, God. Ah, oh, my Lord, hallelujah. I thank you, God. And I thank you and I praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Thanks. I'm a little excited. I told you I, I, I just one little time where you uh, got to listen to teach. And but you can feel the anointing to preach, amen. So I uh, um, bear with me, amen. In our lesson, first Chronicles, the fourth chapter, and verse nine and ten. I don't know if we're gonna get through it all, but we're gonna try, amen. Uh, this is first Chronicles, is uh, given the genealogy to the generations of Judah. And uh, as you're reading this, they're telling this one we got that, and this one we got that one, and this wife did this, and this, and they had these children, and all these children had some more children, and it goes on. But right in the midst of all this, how do you begot? We have the writer Paul's and wrote and Jabez in the ninth verse, amen. It said, and Jabez was more honorable than his brother. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on God of Israel, saying, oh, that thou wouldst bless me in thee and enlarge my coast, and that thy hand might be with me, and that thou wouldst keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. 
and God granted him that which he requested. And then it goes back to this one, but got that, and this one, but got this one. Amen. And so uh, what I'm trying to get you, can, I'm, I picture my, I read this and I didn't just thought I, it was a scripture that I kind of just overlooked because man has uh, uh, took this scripture and said, uh, like it's a, a, a lad and lamp. You rub it and God going to poof, give it to you. Uh, one writer wrote in a, a book and I remember reading, I can't remember what it was, but it was back when I first got uh, salvation, amen, or saved, amen. And he said, read this book, the prayer of Jabez, and pray this prayer 30 days, and you'll see the big difference in your life. Well, I kind of stay away from things like that. I don't like touching because man had misconstrued the scriptures so much that people uh, will hear the name Jabez and say, oh, we just pray the prayer, just as uh, we hear about the Daniel fast. Uh, people go out the way to hear that I'm doing the Daniel fast. I, it's nothing wrong with Daniel fast as long as the heart is doing it to, unto God and doing what God would have you to do. Amen. But they commercialize this, these, these things. And when they commercialize these things, I, me, I kind of stay away from them. But anyway, when I read this, I said, oh, this is okay. But the Holy Spirit wouldn't let me go any further. And he brought back to the screen, the scripture said, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. When, when that hit me, I just said, okay, let me see what God is trying to say. <laughs> so I opened up my Bible and I stayed right there in the ninth and 10th verse. Amen. And so uh, that's where we're at today. Uh, the, the, talking about Jabez. Amen. I, I looked up first, everybody in this study thing, they first find out everything they can find about Jabez, all right? You don't find Jabez, that name, nowhere else in the Bible. Uh, you find it in the second chapter of Chronicles, the 55th verse, and it says there was a city named Jabez. Well, some scholars say that they named that after this Jabez, but I don't have any scripture to tell me that. Uh, scholars uh, go on and on about uh, what happened to Jabez's parents and, and this family member and that family member, but nobody has scripture to back any of that up. They're just going by what they feel. Well, I had to stay with what the scriptures say. And, uh, and all I can tell you, I can tell you more things I don't know about Jabez than I do know about Jabez. Hallelujah. Uh, I don't know who his father is. I don't know who his mother is. I don't even know if he has brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. But I do know what God said he is. Hallelujah. Hey, my Lord, my God, hallelujah. Uh, and that's really what, what matters. Amen. What God say he is. Amen. Can you, let me slow down. Can you picture the writer writing the begots? And he just down there writing. And then all of a sudden he get down to Jabez was. Oh, that don't, that don't go there. Now, any of y'all wrote a paper. Or any of y'all wrote an essay, when you're writing something and don't go in place, you erase it because you want everything to flow right, to flow right. That's how we do when we write things. We want to, this is off subject. This is not even a genealogy. This is uh, uh, be, be, yeah, somebody that be, yeah, this is just, well, I don't know where that came from. But that's how God does something. I just picture God giving the man of God that wrote first chronicles he given the man of god his inspiration and this man is writing and then god oh this is about where J. Bez came in let me talk about this one of my servants right now hallelujah and he said right in here and Jabez was the most honorable of his brother hallelujah i just picture god saying here right this, I know what this is. I just had a remembrance of him being a part of the tribe of Judah. I want you to apply his name in here. Don't say nothing else, but just say that uh, uh, Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When I looked at it and I was trying to figure out what man don't know really doesn't matter to us. You know what I'm saying? Say, all that really matters, who do God say we are? You understand? <laughs> I got a whole lot of no knowledge about who Jabez is. 
In God's eyes, he was more honorable than the brethren. If you look to the word Webster and you look up honorable and, and you look in here, somebody that was trustworthy, somebody that's compassionate, somebody that does the right thing, somebody that is, has a high character, hallelujah, where it could be low character to man, but it's high character to God. That means it's way above the standards of any man, hallelujah. So he was more honorable than his brethren. God, hallelujah. Uh, when I got to thinking about that, hallelujah, when God is right down and, and he comes across uh, our name, my name, your name, is he going to stop and pause and say, hey, I remember. Uh, put this down here about this. See, what I'm trying to tell y'all, we got to seek not what man think about us, but are we pleasing in God's eyes like Jobez? He was pleasing in God's eyes that he interrupted in the middle of the, 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 the begats. He said, hey, put this man, insert this honorable man in here. And I'm just going to tell you a little bit about him. Hallelujah. But in these verses, two, two little verses is a multitude of treasures that, that I kind of dug in. And I got a little emerald here, an emerald diamond there, and a ruby here. Hallelujah. Uh, something that is got me encouraged and kept me going to hallelujah through the day. Amen. But anyway, honorable to God, saints. Honorable to God. That means everything. Jabez Je Je was most honorable. He was more honorable than his brother, than the brethren. Amen. We don't know what brethren, but in God's eyes, he was more honorable than the brother. Now, next part of this bit, bit of information that we have is and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. The King James said, with sorrow. Some has changed out and said, in sorrow and all that. But I'm sticking with the Savior. He said, with sorrow. Hallelujah. So the name Jabez, when you look it up, you will see one that brings sorrow. One that brings sorrow. So in man's eyes, he doesn't get any honorable position. Because back in the day, the name meant something. To, when they named the child, they named him, and that name meant something and stuck with that child. Bear with me here, man. So I'm going to see if I can help you out here. When we talk about Jacob, Jacob was name meant deceiver. And Jacob uh, was raised up being a deceiver. We know that because he deceived his brother. When he got his brother to sold his birthright. We know that when he went down to the to, to get his wife, they deceived and he was deceiving. So they were both all deceiving each other. So Jake, Jacob was fulfilling his goal as being a deceiver, a supplanter. Imagine Jacob and and and, and Jabez raised being raised up. Instead of we calling you Jabez, we called you pain, sorrow. Come here, sorrow. Or Jacob, hallelujah, come here, deceiver. Supplanter, come here. And that, 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 that sits in their mind that who that's who they are. Amen. So uh, and then we get to the point where uh, Jacob wrestled with the angel, hallelujah, and said, and he said the same thing, bless me. And the angel, with that first thing the angel said, what is your name? Hallelujah. hallelujah. God looks at what the serious problem of that Jacob had. Not what Jacob was doing, but the, the root of Jacob's problem was that he was a deceiver and a supplanter. So when the angel said, what is your name? He said, uh, deceiver, supplanter, or Jacob. And I'm just using that. And then the angel said, the, the angel of God said, no, from this thing, your name has been changed to Israel. Israel is prince with God. Oh, my Lord, my God. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can get this to y'all the way it got to me, amen. Uh, so Jacob, after God changed his name and changed, he now changed to be a prince with God, his life changed. He didn't have to go around being a deceiver no more. He became a prince with God. And we can read through the story from that point on, he got blessed. Uh, Esau met him and Esau 
uh, didn't do anything to him. He said, uh, told him everything's all right. And they went on and, and he inherited the things of God. Amen. So the same thing happened with Jabez. His mother had said he was uh, a sorrow, one that brings sorrow. So the society has been dictating to Jabez that you are one that brings pain one that brings sorrow. So he's raised in that kind of a atmosphere or environment. Uh, we know how people can get you a name and that name, name sticks with you. Amen. And through childhood and they're raised on up, everybody call you that name. Uh, we heard comedians talk about people on TV. Uh, I can't even think of one right now, but you know uh, uh, how they be calling out of, out of the names. Yes. The same thing now, that's all Jabez has been hearing. Hallelujah. But Jabez has something that God has alluded to that is not in the scripture, but you have to know God to know what he's saying. When he says Jabez is more honorable, that tells me that Jabez didn't care what the world was saying. He had a relationship with God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, my. He had a relationship that man, he didn't care about what man. Man might call me pain. Man might call me um, no good. I'm this and I'm that. But I got a relationship with the God of Israel. And the God of Israel <laughs> thinks I'm more honorable than all of y'all. Hallelujah. This, I'm paraphrasing now. Hallelujah. But uh, he had to establish a relationship, a prayer relationship with God, for God to recognize him as more honorable than the brethren. Hallelujah. He's a castaway. He's, he, he's, he's just trouble. He brings pain. His mother, whatever she was going through, whatever she was uh, had in, she she put a, uh, I said a curse. Now, that's me. Put a curse on him saying, your name going to be Jabez, sorrow. You bring sorrow. Wherever you go, you're going, you are just sorrow. You're painful. You, 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 this is all you are. This is all you're going to amount to be. And I say that because back then, names meant something. Main names meant something to the children of Israel and to the Hebrews and to anybody around. They, whatever the name was, they meant something. That's what destined what they were going to be. So this was all Jabez was ever going to be was uh, uh, uh Saul, Saul, someone that brings pain, but hallelujah. So then we have Jabez's mother cursed him because uh, uh, she gave birth with him. She bare him with sorrow. Now, some scholars say that the father died and the father had given everybody, all the other children, uh, 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 all the blessings. So that tells and, 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 and he didn't have nothing to give Jabez because he wasn't even born. So the father's dead and the mother buried now. She don't have a, no income coming in. And blah, blah, blah. That's what they try to give you the scenario, a scenario about Jabez. But we don't know that's true because all we have is the word that says she bore him in sorrow and named him Jabez. And that's all we have of the mother. We have no other things but him. So we got to go with the scripture said he's honorable in God's eyes. And he's a sorrowful person in man's eyes. So that's the two things that we have to work with. Hallelujah. But Jabez, and Jabez did something here. The scripture says, hallelujah. Uh, well, I want you to think of what we think about the lesson. I want you to look at the second. Focus not on what you are. Focus on who you are. Hallelujah. Not on what you're doing now, but focus on who you are and what God is designed you to be. And one other thing I want y'all to understand. At the end of anything that comes to an end, there's a new beginning. Anything that comes to an end, there's a new beginning. So as this comes to an end, there's a new beginning. And I feel that we're in a new beginning now. Things have came to an end and the church now is going in a new beginning when kids go graduate from high school they, they don't call it they call it a commencement service that means it's going commencing something new 
So we are here, Faith Temple. We are going to something new. We, we were seeking God and we, God already told us, I'm giving you the power. I want you to church. So y'all, everybody in Faith Temple to start walking in the power of the Holy Ghost. Where others are trying to seek tongues, amen, and, 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 and get excited because they spoke in tongues. I want you to be my children and I want you to seek the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, I'm not saying that you don't have the evidence of speaking in tongues, but I'm trying to say the power of the Holy Ghost is God saying, well, this is what the church needs today. So we're getting into a new thing that should be an old thing, but the church has drifted away from the power of the Holy Spirit and has got comfortable just going in and doing a little shake here and a shake there and a hallelujah, hallelujah there. And now God is saying, I got to, we then, I got to bring that to an end in the church, and I need the church to be ushered in with power now, hallelujah, so that you can operate as the sons and daughters of God. Praise God, hallelujah. So at the not, don't look at who you are and what you're doing, but look at what God say you are, and 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 focus on what you're going to be when God gets finished with you. Amen. So all of our lessons and all we'll be talking about is being the children of God. Behold, how about man of love, that you are called sons of God. I've given you the spirit of adoption, that you can cry, Abba, Father, hallelujah. I died. I'm a new creature in Christ now. I'm not focused on what I used to do. I got to focus now. My mind got to be on what I'm going to be, what God going to make me, and how I need to be that man, hallelujah, for God, to build God's kingdom. Praise God. Amen. I hope I'm not going too fast for y'all. Amen. 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 Uh, we got to turn the old identity. If we stay in our old identity, it will stagnate us from going to something new. Jobez. Could have stayed in his old identity, but he had a relationship with God. And then when he starts to pray, hallelujah, when we had this prayer, it's starting to change and do something new. Because just that Jacob got a new name, he had to, the old had to die where the new could take place. Jobez in his prayer, we're going to find out Jobez is, is getting going and walking in something new with God. That's why he cries out and says, and Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, oh, <laughs> that, that word means he, he, he earnestly, yeah, that, that said, oh, he prayed unto God. No, he said, oh, that thou, that thou wouldest bless me indeed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> he prayed to God. That you bless me indeed. He knows. Hallelujah. If we bring it down, there's a change that's got to take place. And he's tired of the way people are treating him. Hallelujah. As being the sorrowful one, the one that brings sorrow, the one that caused the people don't want to be around him. Hallelujah. But he has a relationship with God that he can say, Oh, God. Hallelujah. The God of Israel. Oh, that you would bless me. Don't just bless me, but bless me indeed. Hallelujah. Hey, my God, hallelujah, hallelujah. He, he, I need you to, I need you to manifest this thing, God. I need you to uh, move on my behalf right now. I need you to do this. Bless me. We're looking for no money. We're looking for nothing like that. Hallelujah. He just said, bless me. Some of us got to realize that we are blessed. Hallelujah. When we wake up in the morning, hallelujah, we are blessed. Hallelujah. When the, the Bible says you're blessed in the city, you're blessed out of the city. But here, Jabez said, bless me indeed. Hallelujah. I want everybody to see this blessing. I want I want this blessing and not, not, not looking for money, not looking for land, not looking for none of that. But bless me indeed. Saints of God, I mean, one thing, we got a, a thing wrong in church. We don't pray for God to bless us. We got to steer. We don't need to I don't need to pray. No, here, God, I, I, his heart was right. Amen. He said, 
bless me indeed. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's all right to ask God to bless you. It's all right to ask God to, he knows your, your heart and he said he'd get the desires of your heart. Hallelujah. But Jabez, Jabez is not coming for his own accord. He's looking that it's going to be further what God is going to give me and what I'm going to be for God. He's going to bless me indeed. You can't be the man and woman of God unless God bless you indeed. You always be just walking around. How do you just know? Oh, yeah, we're gonna. No, I need God to bless me indeed. How do you? Not for money. I'm not looking for money. Money don't mean nothing. How do you? It does, you know, when you gotta survive by food and all that, but it's not the focus of mine. My focus is on what I'm gonna be for God. When my focus is on what I'm gonna be for God, money is not a problem. Because God going to give me, supply all my needs according to my riches? No, according to his riches. Got to remember now, you got you to gotta die. Now, as long as you stand in the picture, you'll never understand the story of Jabez. Understand what God is trying. He little verses in the midst of uh, First Chronicles. Hallelujah. Because you are still in control. You flesh, you, you want to uh, give me mystery. Yeah, Lord, bless me. Give me riches. I need some riches. I need some money here. I need money there. I need this. I need a new car. I need a new house. I need a... That's not what your bears is praying for. Your bears is focused on what God had, wants him to be, not on what man is and the things that he can obtain down here in the earth. Hallelujah. Uh, when I was studying, uh, it, 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 that's what man has gone wrong with the prayer of Jabez because they were looking for riches from the earth. Hallelujah. I don't look for the riches from the earth. God already caused me to sit in heavenly places. God always told me that whatever my needs are, whatever the gifts and blessings that he had, he would overtake me. He tells me I have a more abundant life for me. Hallelujah. I can't even picture, I can't imagine what, what he has in store for me. So I stopped thinking about what God has in store for me and just let me be what God want me to be. Let me focus on how he's going to design me, how he's preparing me to be the man of God. Hallelujah. That I can be what he called me to be in these last and evil days. Hallelujah. Uh, and that's what we have to focus on. Bless him indeed. Bless him indeed. Bless you indeed. Yeah. You got a great work. To, each one of us got something great for God has for us and we got to stop looking at what's going on around us and know that the, the, all that matters is what we will be what god wants us to be all this other stuff don't matter i thought i was in the military for 22 years i thought that was the stuff and when i got out of the military i found out that ain't nothing i look back over my day it was a wasted to me it was now uh, it was a wasted 22 years, but I did gain experience. I did can relate a lot of things from the military to serving God. Hallelujah. So, but it's not, wasn't wasted, but it was designed to get me to where I surrender all to God and realize that he is my soul provider. He is the one that takes care of me. He is the one that is going to set me up. Hallelujah. And establish, hallelujah, his church, his his uh, people uh, uh, to be used in saving souls, to teach, to preach, and live his word. That's all that matters. Hallelujah. And to any born again, hallelujah, born again believer, hallelujah, one of those sanctified ones, hallelujah, one that said, yes, Lord, hallelujah, to your way and to your will. Hallelujah. Not the one that's humming and bumming. Man, hallelujah, playing with God over here and playing with God over there. It's, it, I, I, this is more important than doing anything for God right now. Hallelujah. That's what God is, uh, the difference is, hallelujah. Too many times, saints of God, hallelujah, focus on what's going on around them and what's uh, happening around them, and it's letting them, letting that that's going around, influencing them how they should conduct themselves. When the word says, for my lesson, progressive sanctification, I'm supposed to rejoice. I'm supposed to pray. I'm supposed to give thanks. Ha, I'm supposed to prove all things. I can't quench the spirit. Huh? I, I'm, I'm not supposed to stay away from my audience. 
in there in there things that come on TV. We, we see this and we have our opinion. We give our opinion, and our opinion ain't uplifting. It's putting it down. Right there, we have abstained. We have failed in abstaining from the appearance of evil because our conversation is down instead of uplifting. Praise God, Amen. Let me move on, Amen. How, what are you becoming? That's what your focus should be. What are you becoming? And I, I, I need y'all to let that sink in because you gotta know what God wants you to be, and you got to know that you gotta be holy. You got to know you got to be sanctified. You got to know that you are a child of the living God. And that's what God wants you to be. You, you are becoming that. We are, each and one of us are becoming uh, uh, the image and likeness of God. I told y'all before, I, I tell you, we are so much special to God. Just think, the only thing separated us from, from, uh, from that got us messed up was Adam, that, you know, they, they cooked, ate the fruit. But just think what the, the scripture said, we got to get them out to God before they eat the light, the, the tree of life, and they'll be what? As we are. <laughs> My God. We'll be as they, we are. So they had to kick them up before they had eternal life. So the only thing <laughs> is our free will, oh my God, to, to accept that I want to serve God, and that's my choice. Hallelujah. That's why God see, come see about me. That's what separates me from everything. Because once I have eaten from the tree of life, and I think that tree of life is Jesus Christ, hallelujah, and I'm ignoring him, and hallelujah, and I have eternal life, hallelujah, and, 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 and that, 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 that I can become what God want me to become. I'm, I, I told you I'm trying to teach it. I, I, I'm getting excited. I, I, I just, this one man, Jabez, is right here in the midst in, in two verses. Bless me indeed and enlarge my coach. Now, immediately everybody think, enlarge my territory. Enlarge, oh God, you got to bless me with all this stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. I got to study in the Holy Ghost put it in. It's the territory that God is talking about, your is talking about, it's right here, between these two ears. <laughs> when you enlarge, hallelujah, Give, give me, enlarge me my knowledge of you, God. And it's, it causes me to think differently. It causes me to understand who I am. And hallelujah, that all things belong to my Father. And the scripture comes here, the hallelujah, where it says, a thousand cattle on a thousand hills belong to him. <laughs> and if I'm his child, hallelujah, and Matthew, the seventh chapter, tells me that if I ask, knock, and seek, that he'll give it to me. He said, if you know, that know how to do evil, how to, Elder Wright preached on this, if you know how to do evil, give good gifts, how much more do my Heavenly Father going to give me good gifts? Changes your mindset. Enlarge this territory. Enlarge this knowledge of you, God. <sighs> my Lord, my God. We got to get the understanding that the Holy Spirit give you more understanding Enlarge your territory. What the scripture said we would be in it. Enlighten me. Enlighten me in the wisdom and knowledge of your spirit. And enlighten us. To broad and enlarge our way that we think who we are or who we're going to be. You can't be what God wants you to be and become what God wants you to be if you're still stuck in Ray. If I stay in Ray, I'll never be what God calling me to be or designing me to be or what me he want me to be because I'm stuck in Ray. I can never love the way God want me to love. I can never uh, live the way God want me to live because I'm, my, my, my attention is on things around here. So when he, uh, uh, think about it, Jabez, all that's going on around him and he said, Lord, enlarge my territory. Hallelujah. Enlarge my territory that your kingdom Hallelujah, that you'll be glorified, that you'll get all the glory, you'll get the praise, enlarge my territory. What man is cast down, hallelujah, say ain't no good, is sorrow. Hallelujah, what man cast down, say is deceiver. Hallelujah, you, God, can come in, step in, and give me something new. Bless me indeed, give me enlarging my territory. Hallelujah, when he enlarge here, 
when you know that you know that you know that you are a child of God, the devil can't mess with you. No weapon formed against you will take it on a different meaning. And every time that rise up against you, you, it takes on different meaning. You don't, you don't, you don't care what people say. You don't care what people, I got to be about my father's business. Change causes us to freeze. We won't move faster because we don't, ah, no, 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 that can't be God. I'm telling you, at the end, everything comes to an end. We can, we know that through our life experiences. Things come to an end. But then God, everything that comes to an end, there's a new beginning. When Faith Temple, when Saints of Christ came to an end, if I had stayed there in King George, I would have never seen and understood or knew anything about Pastor Paul and, 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 and Mount Olive. But when that came to an end, God brought me over here to a new beginning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And when you, I know it's a hard transition because when you step out of something that you're in, you're like, man, this ain't, this is not right, man. Man, all right, man. But then when you step in by faith into a new beginning, you're like, why did, why did I wait so long? Say, this is what God, and then unbelievers or whoever listening, I know it's scary to take to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and by faith. I know you're mad. You're not giving up. All. Yes, you're going to give up the things that, the things really that you're giving up is things that's going to kill your body anyway. Why not take on Jesus, accept Jesus Christ as a new beginning and become a new creature in him and live a glorious life, live a more abundant life. Live that you, you you can trust him in everything that he's going to bring you through it. My Lord, my God, hallelujah! Here, Jeff, man, in, 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 in enlarge, enlarge this territory here between the ears. We got to ask God to enlarge this territory. We're thinking wrong. We think we think that the world think you ain't going to be nothing. You can't do nothing. You got to have money to do this. You got to have money for that. Hallelujah! And I'm learning. Hallelujah. Sometimes all we just got to just go to the place and let God move. And I'm learning that because right, I'm one of the ones that yeah, I don't know. I ain't got no money to go over there and do that. I ain't got no money. To do that. But I, last two times I done went on by faith, I got over there and I found out it was already being worked out. So I, I'm, I'm enlarging this territory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So, uh, Boy, Jabez is saying, enlarge this territory. We got to understand, we got to start thinking different. Start thinking and trusting God. How do we walk by faith? You, you can't walk by faith and see it where you're going. I don't see it where I'm going. I, I'm, I'm at a stage, in, and I know y'all probably can tell, it's, it's things happening in my life, I just don't understand how it's happening. And God is changing it. God is doing it. I know it. I can feel it inside of me. I, I hear it. It's changing the way I think now. It's, it's, it's a process. Yes, it's a process. But I got to keep surrendering. You got to keep surrendering. It's a process. Jobez, he, he wants change. I don't want to live, live in, in, the, in what man want me to be. I want to live in what God want me to be. To find what God want me to be, I have to have a relationship with God. A relationship with God. Can't keep hold on with this the man. Man is, we, think about it. We can look, this world is headed for destruction. It's like the train is on, no drive out of driving the train. And it's headed to a brick wall and, 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 and running 500 miles an hour. And, and when it hit the wall, it's going to be utter destruction. Hallelujah. I'm not bad. But we had this, and we 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 we, we I'm about to be in the train with them. But before the train hit that wall, hey, I'm caught up. <laughs> my Lord, my God, I, I ain't got to worry about the wall when it hit the wall. Praise God, my Lord, my God, hallelujah.
hallelujah. I'll be caught up. And if I am down here, hallelujah, when it hit the wall, my Lord, my God, I'm, I'm going to be all right here too because I can't see death no more because I died once. Hallelujah. I, 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 I don't know I mean you don't preach, but change that. Bless me. Enlarge that coast. Change the way you're thinking. Change the way you're thinking. Accept the way God would have us. That's why you got to have this word. We all can say, and we go through Daniel. We look at the weeks. We look at Revelation. We look at Jeremiah. We look at Isaiah. We look at all the prophecies about end times. We look at Paul wrote it. We look on, and we say, man, things are lined up. Things are lined up. But the problem is, are we lining up with his word to make sure we are, we are where we should be in the right way of thinking. And we have been, our minds have been enlarged to the way God thinks. The way God thinks is right here in this word. The way God said, put your bears in the middle of Chronicles. In the first chapter, in the fourth chapter. Read that, read that, it, 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 it ain't fit there. But because God said put it there, it's there for who? For us. All scripture is given for the inspiration for us to read, to be encouraged, to govern ourselves by. So I'm going to pray. Ha, bless me indeed. Oh, Lord, you bless me indeed. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge. Here, saints, we got to change the way we think. Put down the old stuff. Start with something new. Make your mind up. I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna stop this way of thinking. I'm not gonna be in pity parties no more. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna walk like I supposed to walk. I'm gonna be the man and woman God called me to be. Hallelujah. I, I don't have to understand. I don't have to be subjective to what the world is subjective to. I'm governed by God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm, I, I don't have to run over here and run over there. I got an answer from, from God. Like I told you last week, uh, the, 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 the centurion soldier, he, 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 I, I know who you are. You, you, you tell this one, I, I, if I can tell this soldier, go over there and he go, I know you being the son of God can tell my servant be healed and that, that, that sickness or disease got to come out of it. That's who you are. You are Jesus, the son of God. Ah, what are you? <laughs> Are you focused on what God wants you to be? Or are you focused on what man saying you are? If you are the child of God and the sons and daughters of God, the living God, the almighty God, the most powerful, omnipotent God, <laughs> you have authority. He's giving you the authority and power to speak things. To do things. But this is not in law. You think no way. All right. I'm saying the man. All right, well, I don't know. I'll just pray. And all along the spirit inside you saying, stand up, say the word, speak the word. And um, they might not might not like like hear what I got to say. And then they're gonna be mad and my enemy. And I ain't got no friends. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got to do it. <laughs> you gonna go with being disobedient to God is a sin. Those that know to do good and do not do it is a sin. You shutting your mouth, quenching the spirit because you don't want to upset somebody. Man, I don't want to be in no kind of shoes. That's why I'm, I'm looking for the change. I'm working in the change. I'm, I'm, I'm asking God to let me stop thinking the way he want me to think according to his word. I'm, 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 I'm going to line up in his word. I want to be loving. I want, I want to be a peacemaker. <laughs> the peacemaker. I want to be a peacemaker. I want, to, I, want, I, want to, what, I want to be there according to his word. My, my God, hallelujah. Praise God. I don't know how much time I got. I have three, seven minutes. I know I'm not going to finish. I know I'm not going to finish. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> yeah. He, he asks God five things here. Y'all go back study, uh, uh, and study in this week and we'll pick up where we left off. He said, bless me indeed, enlarge my coast. And then we're talking about, let your hand be with me. Huh, my 
my Lord, my God. Let me read it so you know what I'm talking about. And that thy hand might be with me. God's hand. Bless me indeed. Then he says, enlarge my coast. Talking about the mind. I told you I talking about mind. And then that, let thy hand. I don't need man's. I need God's hand. Because that's, that's a, the, 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 the arm of God that will, that's going to hold you. His hand doesn't change. We sing songs about his unchanging hands. I can trust him. He's never going to leave me nor forsake me. I can trust him. Hallelujah. That he's going to see me through. I can trust him that he's my shepherd. <laughs> and he's going to lead and guide me to greener pastures. I can trust him. He got word for me. As the other right said, I'm bonded to the promises. I'm bonded to God. The new thing, that's why, see, if you're still thinking old, you're still stuck in your old, what you, what you used to do and how you used to do it, and this place and that place, you can never can find the new places in God. I choose that thing about NAFCA, no, Pastor Paul. I could have stayed, never came in contact with NAFCA. I could have stayed in Church of God in Christ. Because I said, man, that's, I want to be, I want Church of God in Christ was booming. They would, I swear, I got, I'm just going to stay right there. I'm going to win it. But if God is saying, I got to get you out of that so that you can grow and be more than what, We gotta grow and we stay in a place too long. Think about a plant. I'm, I'm almost finished, y'all. I know I know what I'm We put a plant, a seed in a plant. It stays in that plant and it grows. Now, if the plant grows, it's gonna outgrow that pot. And you have to take it out of that pot and put it in a bigger pot. Yeah. And eventually you're gonna grow out of that pot and go to another pot. Sometimes you're in a place where it can, you can start off in growth, but to be everything that God wants you to be, he got to transplant you into another pot. I, I hope that. And then you're getting into another pot, you find out that you can spread your roots a little bit. You can uh, uh, move around and the things in life that, that you didn't know where you were confined to a little area, you can get life into a bigger area. That's why I said into an end of something, always a better beginning of something. As long as you're walking with God. As God moves in our lives, we got to look for growth. Look to be what God wants us to be. Not what man determines us to be. Yeah, I hope y'all understand that. I, I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm speaking fast, and I know I'm, I'm not, and I'm, I'm trying to slow down, but I've got to get y'all to understand, this prayer and, and Jabez is, is saying, uh, what do we reject what the world is saying and take in what God is saying. In the renewing his territory, God's going to bless you indeed and renew you, enlarge your territory. He will do that, hallelujah. And then his hand, his hand is on your life. Not mine. Elder Wright, it's all right. He come by here and bless me every now and then. And whatever. But Elder Wright can't keep me. Elder Wright can't support me. Elder Wright can't uh, give me life. He can give me a note and say, I don't know if this is any good or not, but I'm going to write a recommendation to God for you. Uh, let Bishop Nance or let Forrest Nance into heaven sign Elder Wright. <laughs> that, that, that ain't worth nothing. I can't even as it been the, when I got the military, they told me all that, that my honorable discharge and all that. They won't even buy me a cup of coffee. <laughs> that, that note from Elder Wright saying, let me in the heaven, they ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? So don't put your trust in what man say. Put your trust, let the hands of God guide your life. Let me go back over the lesson and, and read about what the new thing God is doing at Faith Temple. We don't have a sanctuary. That's all right. 
but we're in the body of Christ. <laughs> and that that they're not coming back for a building on a uh, flat iron road or a building on Bull, Bull Street. They, they're not going to stop by there and see a, a, a building on Gra Gravel Pit Road or, or a building they're looking for over there in uh, Spotsylvania or Stafford. <laughs> nah, when the trumpet sound, there's going to be some things going up, but there ain't going to be no buildings. My Lord, my God, and it's going to be coming out of everywhere. Hallelujah. Brick and mortar don't go to where they stay right there. So we don't have a sanctuary, but that but God is gonna bless. Enlarging our territory when we start thinking like God would want us to think. Bless me indeed. I'm blessed indeed. His hand is on us. Hallelujah. That right there is enough for us to marinate on all week to get us to be ready by. You know, whatever comes our way. Hallelujah. He's a good God, saints. Hallelujah. I do praise him. Hallelujah. I, I want to give time for anybody with me comments. Uh, or the right or uh, the, who is that? Oh, or the proctor or Deacon McClain. You know, I, or Mother Smith, you might want to have any comments or whatever the spirit is giving to share with us. Amen. I'm going to yield that time now to y'all. Ellen Proctor here. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. I heard someone say once upon a time, say, what a word. And I thought they were just saying something. But you gave us the word tonight, buddy. And I don't mean it to, to be little by saying, buddy, Bishop, you said that you didn't come to preach yesterday. If you preach any better than you did tonight, then uh, I'll try to stay out of the pool. I'll stay out of your way. But you preached to me tonight. Uh, Jabez was a pain. As I yes. studied. And you know, you can be a pain, don't know it. And I came to the conclusion I'm a pain. But God favored, found favor with God. It's yes. more honorable. Jabez may have been a pain, but he was more honorable. And we gotta realize that when you talk to people about salvation, your pain to some of them. Right. You're blessed. You're blessed. And I thank God for what God gave you. I looked at them scriptures earlier. I didn't see no pain in it. I didn't see no. Hallelujah, brethren, hallelujah, God. But your brethren and all those who are calling on Christ. All right. You know, and faith temple, hallelujah, God. It's, it ain't much to faith temple, but you little are more honorable in sight of God. And I ain't about to start no preaching either, but I thank God for you. I started dancing. I can't dance and feet hurt. Hallelujah, God. <laughs> but I thank God for, for the word tonight. And Truly, I give God the glory for that you and your temple. Hallelujah, God. You and the temple may not have in sanctuary, but the temple of God, we know what that is. So again, I say to you, yes. Pastor, you uh, preach tonight with power. Hallelujah. And uh, when you get to the point when you're teaching and God take over, don't 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 quench the spirit. Let him go on and all right. If you're gonna dance, dance. I don't care where you dance. That if the Holy Ghost is gonna use you, let him use you. Because I might need get need to get a step in. Okay. To God be the glory. And bless Praise everybody. God. To God be the glory. Yeah. Amen. All right. Hey, somebody else. I can't hear you, Mother Smith. You are muted. Oh, I'm just praising the Lord. The message just, I just thank God. Hallelujah. Thank you for yes. letting the Lord use you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. God be the glory. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. Well received. <laughs> Can you hear us? 
Yeah, I can hear can you. Hear you. I can hear you now. Oh, well, Steve. I'm a muted, but um, well, Steve, enjoy it. Word of God. Amen. I don't know why you can't hear me. I don't know what's wrong with my computer. Yeah. We, we, we heard she, she said, well received, she enjoyed the word of God. Yes, yes. Amen. True word of God. Unadulterated. Unadulterated. <laughs> right. To God yes. be glory, I'm saying. All right. Yes, sir. You got anything? No? You, I always have something, but um, <laughs> you call, call my name three times, I'm going to be obedient. I was just thinking um about uh, a couple of things about how the when you were talking about the name change part of how what his name meant and there's uh, um, a connection to what a name meant but then he looked beyond all of that and he was able to overcome what he was called to be honored above all his brethren according to god in a sense, way well, not in the sense, it, um, how God saw him because this was written after, you know, his lifetime when it was right now the history, and how God can do that even in our lives. What people may call us or what maybe people may look at us as, God sees something else, and He can use us, no matter what people call us in. Look at us as. Amen. 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 Praise God. We truly thank God for the word tonight, Saint. Now the thing is that we heard it. Now we gotta apply that word to our lives. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That's another challenge to next week. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. On all the progressive sanctification. Uh mm -hmm. this the seven things on there. Now we got to apply, hallelujah, focus on what God wants us to be. Amen. And not on the things that are around us. Let's focus on um, being obedient to God this week and uh, applying that word to our lives. Amen. Amen. And, and it's all right to pray for yourself. Let the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. It's all right to pray. Don't, don't, don't feel that you got. I know we all pray for everybody else, but pray for yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, I got kind of a couple of scriptures I, I'm holding back. Amen. And the hour is here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise yes. God. We're going to be dismissed. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hey, is all the prophets still on? Hey, you want to dismiss us? Pray for us and dismiss us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are the sheep of your pastor. And we yes. thank you, O oh God, for using your servant to touch our hearts and enlighten our understanding, O oh Lord God, of your word. You're a good God, and we glorify and praise you. Lord, you yes. know what each of us stand in need of. Especially, oh Lord God, Faith Temple, you know what they stand in need of. As a body, we ask you to meet their needs according to your riches and glory. Yes. If there's any sick among us, oh Lord Jesus, you know, and we know you're a healer. Heal, Lord God, the blind, the deaf, hallelujah, and raise the dead. So we ask you, oh Lord God, to look upon your children. And we, again, we thank you for the word. We ask you, Lord, going to let the sweet communion of your Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide with us now and henceforth and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen.